Hello everyone, in this video we're going to draw the gingerbread man from Shrek. Start by drawing a circle as a guide for the head. To draw the circle, first make two small marks to indicate the circle's length, and then on the sides make two more small marks to indicate the circle's width. Then connect the marks using curved lines to finish the shape of the circle. Make the circle a bit wide on the sides. Sketch lightly at first so that it's easy to erase if you make a mistake. Also, pause the video to draw at your own pace. The circle doesn't have to be perfect, but if you're having trouble drawing it, just trace the outer edge of a coin, a bottle cap, or anything else with a circular edge. Inside the head, draw a vertical line. This is a construction guide that will help you place the facial features later on. Tilt the line a bit so that the top part is farther to the right. Now draw a horizontal line for another construction guide. Tilt this line too so that the left side is higher than the right. The lines are tilted because the head will also be tilted to the right. Under the head, draw a horizontal line for the top part of the body. Tilt this line too so that the right side is lower than the left. On the sides, draw long vertical lines for the sides of the body. Curve the lines slightly. The line on the right should be slightly shorter than the line on the left. Close off the shape at the bottom using a horizontal line. On the top left side of the body, draw a diagonal line as a guide for the first arm. On the right side, draw a curved sloping line as a guide for the other arm. Under the body, close to the left side, draw a long vertical line as a guide for the leg. Starting on the lower right corner of the body, draw a long diagonal line as a guide for the candy cane. Pay attention to the length of this line in relation to the body. And that's it for the guidelines, now let's start on the final drawing. Inside the head, on top of the horizontal construction guide, lightly sketch two small circles for the eyes. Use the vertical line as a guide to help you determine the space between the eyes. Pay attention to the size of the eyes in relation to the head. When you get the size and position of the eyes right, darken the shapes. The eye on the left should be slightly higher than the eye on the right because the head is tilted. Above each eye, draw a small oval-like shape for the eyebrows. Sketch lightly at first and only darken the eyebrows when you get the shapes right. Curve the bottom edges of the eyebrows so that they're similar to small beans. Draw the eyebrows on either side of the vertical construction guide. Don't draw the eyebrows too high above the eyes. Below the horizontal construction guide, lightly sketch a big curved shape for the mouth. Curve the top and bottom parts of the shape so that it's similar to a bean. When you get the mouth right, darken the shape. The shape of the mouth should fit between the horizontal construction guide and the bottom edge of the head. Inside the mouth, draw a thinner shape for the inner edge of the open mouth. This shape should be similar to a small sausage. Sketch lightly at first and only darken the lines when you get the shape right. Now use the main circle as a guide to draw the head. Darken the initial circle to create the shape of the head. Don't darken the bottom edge of the circle that connects to the body. Now use the diagonal line on the left side as a guide to draw the first arm. First, lightly sketch the shape of the arm around the guideline. Curve the top part of the shape so that the tip of the arm is round. When you get the shape of the arm right, darken the lines. Don't draw the edges of the shape too far away from the guideline or the arm will be too wide. Curve the top edge of the arm so that it connects to the head. Now use the sloping line on the right side as a guide to draw the other arm. 
Just like before, first, lightly sketch the shape of the arm around the guideline. The sides of the arm should be parallel to the guideline. When you get the shape of the arm right, darken the lines. Pay attention to the distance between the sides of the arm and the guideline. Leave a space between this arm and the body for the candy cane. Use the line that's on the lower right side of the body as a guide to draw the candy cane. Extend the top part of the line so that it curves to the right and ends under the arm. To the right, lightly sketch another long diagonal line for the outer edge of the candy cane. Don't place this line too far away from the first line or the shape will be too wide. At the top, curve the line downward to create the hook on the candy cane. When you get the shape of the candy cane right, darken the lines. The curved part of the candy cane should be behind the arm. Don't make the shape of the candy cane too thick. Now darken the left edge of the rectangular guide for the side of the body. Extend the line farther down to create the top part of the leg. Add a shorter line to the right of the vertical guide at the bottom for the inner edge of the leg. Now draw a series of small ovals across the vertical guide for the stitches on the leg. Place the stitches close to the top part of the vertical construction guide. Draw short lines between the stitches for the break on the leg. Now draw the bottom part of the leg around the guideline. Sketch lightly at first and only darken the leg when you get the shape right. Curve the bottom edge of the leg. The shape of the bottom of the leg should be similar to a big letter U. Inside the leg, draw a thin wavy shape for frosting. Place the frosting close to the bottom edge of the leg. On the right side, draw a broken line for the top part of the broken leg. Draw this shape close to the bottom edge of the guide for the body. Inside the body, draw two small circles for the gumdrop buttons. Don't draw the buttons too big. Sketch lightly at first and only darken the buttons when you get the shapes right. Under the buttons, lightly sketch a long wavy shape for some frosting. Don't overlap the candy cane on the right as you draw this shape. This shape is made up of two wavy horizontal lines. When you get the shape right, darken the lines. Don't make this shape too thick. Add a smaller wavy shape inside the arm on the left for more frosting. Add a final bit of frosting inside the arm on the right as well. Now draw a series of short lines inside the candy cane for the stripes. Pay attention to the orientation of the lines on the top part of the candy cane. Curve the lines so that they contour to the shape of the candy cane. Most of the lines will have a diagonal orientation. Now go over the final lines with a pen, a marker, or any other type of permanent ink. The next few steps are sped up so that the video won't be too long. Take your time and be careful when you ink your drawing to avoid any accidents. Don't ink the initial guidelines, only the final drawing. When the ink dries, erase all of the guidelines. Now color your drawing using colored pencils, markers, or even crayons. And that's it for the gingerbread man. Don't forget to pause the video to draw at your own pace. 
Also, please visit easydrawingtutorials.com where every step of this tutorial is broken down into an individual image. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and a comment. Also, subscribe for more videos in the future. Thank you for watching and until next time, keep drawing.